Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for organic Bible study that's hypoallergenic and gluten-free. Well, today we're looking at verses 38 through 45 in Psalm 89. This is the second half of the psalm. We did the first half last week. This week we're looking at the second half, and we come today to the second voice, or rather the first voice. The first voice in Psalm 89 is the voice of the psalmist. And then we saw the Lord's voice and his covenant with David. And then at the end of Psalm 89... Verses 18 through 26, the Lord's voice comes in again, and then it began the second part for us this week in 27 through 37, but now we're back to the psalmist voice, and he's going to close out the psalm for us. Let me read for you beginning of verse 38. But thou hast cast off and abhorred, thou hast been wroth with thine anointed, thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant, thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Thou hast broken down all his hedges. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him. His reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword and hast not made him to stand in battle. Thou hast made his glory to cease and cast his throne to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame. Selah. Now we come to the end here of the Lord's voice, and we began in 27 through 32, the mercy he's going to keep with Messiah and his progeny, that is the church, and the judgment that he will reign upon them if they break covenant, because God has said, I'm going to keep covenant. Verse 33 through 37, he describes his keeping of covenant his faithfulness, in his holiness. He keeps covenant and establishes it forever. And then we come to 38, and the psalmist chimes in now, and he says, but you've cast us off. You see, he the juxtaposition here of God saying, I'm going to keep covenant forever with David and with Messiah and with the seed. And then the psalmist comes in and says, wait a minute, you've cast us off. You've abhorred. You've been wroth with thine anointed. And then he goes through this litany of things here in 38 through 45 that describe the casting off. You've broken down his hedges, all the pass by spoiling, you, the right hand of the adversaries are set up, all the enemies rejoice, he can't stand in battle, you've made his glory to cease, his youth has been shortened. If you go back and look at Deuteronomy 28, this is a nice recital of the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. When Moses says to the people, if you do not keep the covenant of the Lord, this is what's going to happen to you. And you have this, this litany of things that takes place when the people do not follow the Lord. Well, the psalmist is saying, wait a minute, you've said you're going to keep covenant forever, and yet all this bad stuff has happened to us. But that's the Lord keeping covenant because he promised them he would be faithful to them and keep the covenant even if they didn't. And if they don't, then the trigger for punishment comes in. Verse 32, I will visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. So this is the Lord keeping covenant. He is chastising and judging his people because they haven't kept covenant. So all of this that he mentions here, In 42, 43, 44, all of that, you can find in Deuteronomy chapter 28. This, as I said, is a nice recital of the curses that are going to come. So sort of another ground level view of, and I guess we can kind of feel the psalmist's despair here when he looks at the promises of God and then he thinks about his condition and says, Oh Lord, what's happened? How come this is taking place when you've promised to be faithful to your servant, and yet we see judgment. Well, it's because they've broken covenant. God only judges when covenant is broken. And we'll pick up in 46 tomorrow and see that ever-present cry, how long, right there in 46. I hope you'll join me then on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.